There's some huge rumors right now that the next Pokemon game may actually be a combination of the Unova and Johto regions, so both regions in one game. Now this would be insane. This sounds crazy, right? Like if this would be if this is true, this would be just massive. And these are debatably two of the best regions in the Pokemon franchise. I'd say Unova region is amazing. I don't know if the Johto region is necessarily one of my favorites, but it's definitely a great region. So there was a poll on Twitter or X posted by Riddler Q a while back. I can't find the tweet anywhere. I've been searching and searching, but basically it was a poll about like, what do you think the next Pokemon game will be? And then it gave like a few options. And one of the options was a Paradox Unova game. So what if that's what he was referring to in the past? with like a Paradox Unova game just kind of where two generations or two regions kind of collide into one. So about 10 days ago, Riddler Q also tweeted out a picture that said Happy Chinese New Year with two dragons that obviously are referring to Reshiram and Zekrom, right? So this is the year of the dragon as well, if you didn't know that. So this would actually be a really fitting year for anything Gen 5 related to come from the Pokemon company because Reshiram, you know, Kiram, Zekrom, they're dragons. Lugia is a dragon. Ho-Oh, you could debatably say he's a dragon. He's a big bird, but you could say he's a dragon, I think. Now, this tweet is crazy because, like, why else Why else would Riddler Q post this? They, they look a little funny. They don't really look exactly like Reshiram and Kiram, but that's definitely what he's hinting at. This also does make sense if these rumors are true, though, because we have had so many rumors and potential leaks about Johto game coming out this year and a Unova game coming out this year. So, dude, imagine if it's just two and one. I think that would just be mad. That would be absolutely insane. And there's also a concept art made by this guy named Elite Robo, which Riddler Q retweeted this picture, meaning Riddler Q, you know, Riddler Q's always on to something. He never straight up tells us exactly what it is, but, um, you know, he always kind of gives us a hint. That's what he does. So he retweeted this, and this this cover art, concept art, looks amazing. We got Pokemon Black, Gold, and Silver White. I think the colors contrast amazingly well. I think this art is fantastic. Like if, if this game actually does come out, you know, the Game Freak, the Pokemon Company, Nintendo, they need to use this cover art because these are these are fantastic. Imagine that though, just black Pokemon Black, Gold, and Silver White. I mean, those may not actually be the game, like what the game would actually be called, but just imagine, that'd be awesome. Riddler Q also tweeted this picture out of Reshiram mixed with Ho-Oh. This definitely looks a little funny. <laughs> I don't think that's a, that this is like what he would look like in the game, but I mean, it's a cool thing to tweet out and he hasn't said anything since that though. And going back to that cover concept art, Riddler Q also replied to that tweet and said, love this idea. So, you know. And this is a concept that I think is amazing. I don't know if I've ever seen or heard anyone talk about like two games mixed in one. I never thought about this. I had that idea of like a Paradox Unova game, but my idea was different more so like we just go in the past, present, and future throughout like the Unova region. So I would honestly prefer this version of a Paradox Pokemon game or a Paradox Unova game where it's Johto and Unova. I don't know how they would actually do that though. Like I don't know if it would be the entire Unova map or the... Or like, I don't know if it'd be the entire Unova map alongside the entire Johto map, or if it would just be like Johto, Unova slapped together, things are mixed around, and it's like that in like a paradox universe, like a like an alternate timeline reality. I feel like that's kind of what they would go with. And here's some better art for like Ho-Oh, Reshiram, and Lugia, Zekrom. This is made by Subarashi. Hopefully I'm not saying that name wrong, but this art looks fantastic. Lugia mixed with Zekrom looks insane. This it, this has potential in my opinion. I, I think the one with Ho-Oh looks a little funny. Ho-Oh is, in my opinion, has always been a little funny looking though. So. so let me know what you guys think. Do you think that we're actually going to get a Johto slash Unova game, like a two-in-one game? And if you do think we're going to get that, what are your thoughts about it? I want to know if you guys are interested in that because I personally think that would be amazing. As, as you all know, um, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Pokemon Black and White slash Black and White 2 have always been debatably like the best Pokemon games ever made. So imagine that, like literally the best two like storylines and Pokemon games ever made combined into one like insane game. 
I, I, I'm so interested just to see if, like how, how it would actually turn out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.